Next, I'm going to examine the head, neck, and face. I'm going to examine the face for symmetry. I'm going to check the, mid, the, the neck for trachea midline. Now I'm going to palpate the carotid arteries one at a time. Then I'm going to palpate the lymph nodes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Range of motion. I'm going to check your range of motion. Can you look up, down, to the side, to the other side? And then we got to, can you lay, let's lay your back. Do it right there, right there, right there, right there. Come up a little bit. So 45 degree, use the pen light, put the head back right there. Assess for JVD. Next is the eyes, which we've already done, Perla. Um, so you would note the hair or distribution of the eyebrows and the eyelashes. The, if they sag or if they droop, you would note the color of the iris and the sclera. And then we would do ears, nose, and throat. And with the ears, we would uh, note placement, discharge, and shape. We would palpate the ear for tenderness. Any tenderness? Tenderness, meaning is it sore? Does it hurt when I touch it? Next, we would note the nose, the, the, the belief symmetry of the nose. You check the midline, the septum, you'd note any discharge. You can put this down. You would check the for nasal flares, the nares, for nasal flares. And then the mouth or the throat area. Open up, say ah. I would inspect the teeth, the gums, the tongue, the lips, the tonsils, the uvula, and the mucous membranes. And I would assess that for color and the moisture. Next would be respiratory. I would compare inhalation and exhalation. Can you take a deep breath for me? Then I would ask if they had any trauma or surgeries that impaired that impairs their breathing. Any? Okay, thank you. I would inspect the anterior and posterior of the thorax for symmetry. And taking note while I'm doing that of any deformities that I might see. So can you stand up? I'll just do this standing up. Put your shirt up. Okay, thank you. You can sit back down. Palpate, or I palpated the, the anterior, and we palpated the posterior. I might have to have you stand back up, because I would also check for uh, lung expansion by placing my hands back here, take a deep breath in and out. I physically feel for the lung
lungs to expand in my fingertips, which they did. Okay. Now I need to go ahead and sit, but don't lean back. Also take the lung fields. I would look for the accessory muscles, which was, would be in the throat area and the collarbone area and see if there's any labored breathing without having done any physical exercise. Next is cardiac. Cardiac, I would palpate the both carotids, or I would, no, I've already done that. I would also tape, I'd also tape with the belt, both carotid arteries. Then also take the, the five areas of the heart, which would be the aortic, the pulmonic, the herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral valves. And then we would palpate the elbow. Thumb, the pel pelvic, the pul pulmonic, femoral, femoral, the patellar, or the popliteal, I should say, the popliteal, the ankle, and then the top of the foot. Then we would do patient safety, which we would put, lay the bed back in its lowest and locked position, uh, provide the call button in arm's reach, see if there's anything the patient needs before. Um, we would make sure the handrails are, are pulled up and closed. And that should include the head to toe assessment. Mom!